Hey guys, this is Leo. I'm Chewing Gum bringing you another video. In this video, I'm on site here at Video Games NYC. I placed in a pre-order online, saw it on Twitter for a PlayStation Vita game that you'll see later. Uh, and basically, I'm here and I'm very excited to hear about this place because, to be honest, uh, I've never heard of it. It's in the East Village. I went to school here. I went to school uh, at NYU. So uh, I want to pop in. And let's see what happens. Let's see what uh, what they got. Wow. I mean, look at this. Controllers everywhere. Super Mario cereal. Wow, that's pretty cool. Nine bucks. Nintendo DS here. Yeah, it does look like a small store. First impression is there's a it's a smaller store. Let's see what's towards the back. But so far, I mean seeing a couple things oh look we got an amiibos here um uh, right let's see all right they're 199 dollars for uh for this 29 dollars for these amiibos uh, i collect them i keep them in the box as well uh 39 dollars for uh some of these monster hunters 49 dollars Ryu, $29. Uh, Solid Snake, $29. let us see if I find one. That's not bad. Look at the retro Mario. And uh, the Super Mario Brothers edition of that one from the 8-bit era. That, that was only $29. All right, $29. That's not, not a bad ask. $39 for Samus back there. They have Animal Crossing uh, cards here for uh, $14.99. Which is not terrible, considering they... I mean, that's not what they sold for, obviously, but... Oh, $69 for Detective Pikachu up there. You have... $34 for... Uh, Peach, for Cat Peach. Mm, got a couple of DS games here. Let's see, Brain Age is $4.99. Alright, that, that that's... I guess it's not <laughs> it's so rare. Um... Oh, we got some playing cards here. Some Mario playing cards. Some old NES cartridges here. Released 2018 by Kellogg's. I wonder if that series is still good. Some PlayStation stuff here. What is this stuff? Obsidian, Crystal, Wired USB, Tekken. Oh, these are all like controllers and joysticks for you fighters out there who, you know, want a, uh, you know, your arcade genuine experience or as genuine as it's going to get. Pokemon, some notebooks here. Oh, here we go. Some PlayStation Vita games here. This is exactly where I want to be. Oh, Guacamelee. All right, let's see. They got a copy of that. Let's see how much it is. And maybe I'll pick that one up. Shakedown Hawaii, Retro City Rampage for 49 bucks. That's actually not a bad price considering how much it's going for online. Death Mark. You got a couple of games here uh, for 20 bucks. Okay. Uh, for the Lego games, that might be a little bit overpriced. You can probably get some online for a lot less. Um, let's see. All right, some of them are $79. Guacamelee for $44. That's not bad. Gun House, $40. Not terrible, actually. Uh, Risk of Rain, $34. I guess we have a couple Japanese exclusive PlayStation Vita games here as well. Oh, sorry about that. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. In people's way while I record this. Uh, all right, a couple of uh, Play Asia exclusive games here for fifty-four dollars. Not terrible. I mean, obviously you're paying thirty-two dollars, I believe, for them online plus shipping. So not too overpriced. I'm, I, I've seen them go online for. Uh, oh, look at. Nurse Love Syndrome. Oh, I'm probably going to have to pick that one up, too. I've been looking for that one. I think there's... Uh, I saw one online. A little bit more expensive than this. There's Shant Shantae. 
for how much for 30 bucks that's not bad that's a good price actually i, I think i paid uh i don't know how much i paid but i don't think i paid for the uh special edition oh some gamecube games here let's see what we got let's see what we have here some gamecube controllers some nintendo power magazines And I'm trying to go as slowly as possible. Uh, obviously, you can fast forward through this and maybe get to a section that might be of more of interest to you. Uh, I'm just trying to go as slowly as possible since I'm going to upload this not too much uh, later after I leave the store. So that at least you guys can get a semi real life price tag on some of the games here if you see something you like. Hopefully, my camera is close enough that you can see the price tag. Uh, on the yellow stickers right there on the bottom so that if there's something you're looking for you can possibly come pick it up uh, and hopefully it's a better price than you find online uh oh we got the the super smash brothers uh special controllers here tmnt here 24 dollars for wwe 50 bucks for tmnt zelda wind waker hd 69 dollars for uh I don't even think that's HD. That's the GameCube one. Smash Brothers, 69 bucks. Outlaw Golf. I don't, I've never heard of it. Crazy Taxi. Ice Age. Hopefully you can see, if you can see the price tags, hopefully you, you, if you find something and it's a little bit less than what you can get it on eBay definitely take come take a look at the store the prices seem fair uh maybe some you can find a little cheaper online but from what i've seen the games that i actually like and that i'm looking for like those two places in playstation vita games i think i might pick them up guacamole usually goes for 80 bucks 70 bucks online and that's your you're paying taxes on top of that and shipping possibly so uh i think that i'm gonna pick that up guacamole for sure uh, it looks like they had multiple copies there. Uh, I'm just going to pick up one, but if anybody's looking for that specifically, there you go. We got a couple of Genesis games over here. Uh, 20 bucks for some here. $29.99. Risk. Risk made a game, huh? 10 bucks for that one. NHL 97. Oh, we got a couple of Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games down there. And we have some here out of the box, Monopoly, for 10 bucks. Not bad. Some of them are wrapped up in, in some sort of plastic. I had Vector Man back in the day. Good game. I think it was... Uh... Oh, Animaniacs. 10 bucks. I think Vector Man was a great game. I, I love that game. I think they made a part two. I never played it, though. I don't think we ever bought it. I think we might have moved on to the next system at the time and possibly started me and my brothers and my sister started uh, buying video games for the next system after that. Or maybe we just started buying games more for the Super Nintendo or I'm not sure when Vector Man 2 came out. Who knows? Maybe we were on our way to the N64, maybe. Or the PlayStation 1. And then we, you know, we asked our parents for for those games for Christmas since they were the latest hot item in the house. So many Genesis games here. Oh, the Mega Drive. Look at that. Great Baseball, Hang On, Safari Hunt. More Great Baseball. A lot of sports games here. We've got some PlayStation 3 games right over here. Assassin's Creed. Everywhere. I mean, there's a, there are, there's a lot of stuff here. We have, look at all these, like, look at this. We have NES systems here, more loose, regular Nintendo NES cartridges here. Ice hockey, Hogan's Alley, $10. Hoops, $4.99. Little League Baseball, $4.99. Look at this. John Elway's quarterback football, four ninety nine. 
We got some loose Super Nintendo games here as well. Oh, look, they got the Super Scope, uh, Super Scope 6 game here. What is this? No idea what this is, but uh, there it is. Let's see what this is. Oh, Mario Paint for 10 bucks. To, if you have the mouse, you know, all power to you, you can, you can definitely uh, pick that one up too. Mm, 10 bucks, not bad. Uh, the mouse is probably more expensive. We got some Super Famicom games here too, for those that uh, have that. Mm, Super Scope 6 for the, you know, Super Nintendo as well. Wacky Sports Challenge. What is this from Konami? 15 bucks. Oh, those are the Tiny Toons? That's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Let's make sure nothing falls here. Yeah, Tiny Toons, Wacky Sports. Uh, you know what? I played a Genesis game with the Tiny Toons on it. It was great. It had bowling. It had a bunch of a bunch of games in there. It was actually fun. Basketball, soccer. I actually used to play that with my, with my brothers and my sister a lot. It was for the Genesis. That, that game was fun. Uh, especially the bowling. The bowling was really fun. Look at this blue, blue cartridge here. What do we got here? Murder on the Mississippi? That sounds freaking awesome. Too bad I can't read what's in the back, but that sounds amazing for 10 bucks. I would I would totally uh totally get something like that. Look, Sesame Street 1, 2, 3 for 10 bucks. I like that things are wrapped. I mean, I'm pretty sure that keeps away the dust from the inside target renegade here for 10 bucks as well star master we got a bunch of atari games here space battle skiing battleship down here on the left game players pack over there as well what are these parker brothers i don't even know what these are if 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 there's something i'm not going to know in this video please oh these are atari these are for the atari see i never owned an atari um so i don't know what these are i'm guessing these are the games for them these are the ones you put in there i'm not really sure but if somebody knows please leave a comment down below and let me know because I think these are Atari things too. Games. Yep, they look like they're games. Uh, yeah, if somebody knows, please just tell me on the in the comments down below. I, I mean, I love to learn new things. They got the Atari trackball up there too. Parsec. Texas Instrument, huh? Wow. Right, what is that, like a calculator or something? Texas Instrument makes the calculators, don't they? They should. Oh, Donkey Kong. Wow, look at this. Oh, ColecoVision presents donkey con by nintendo wow look at this i didn't i had no idea this even existed i guess it was before the exclusivity before the console wars i guess these are all ataris sega genesis a bunch of different systems here video video game computer up here um by atari that's atari yep oh look the pico or the Pico, the Sega Pico, the Sega Pico. It was like a drawing thing. It was like for kids. I really wanted one when I was a kid. I was like, oh, you know what? You guys can play like my older brothers. Like you guys could play your Sega Genesis. I'm going to get a Pico for Christmas. I never got one. I, uh, <laughs> thankfully, I never got one. I, I don't know if it was any good, to be honest. Uh, we got an iToy up here. Oh, a PlayStation gun. Wow. A bunch of PlayStation 1 games here. Beyblade over here. ATV, Army Men 3D, 799, 999 for some of these. All of them run for like $10. Oh, look, Cool Borders 2 for 10 bucks. I love that game. Cool Borders 3. I'm sorry, somebody called me, so it cut my thing off. Holiday sale, all used games. Buy two games, get one free, but they have to be equal to or less than $14.99 for the, for the third free game. Uh, but I was saying is cute Cool Borders 3. I loved Cool Borders, actually. Cool Borders was a lot of fun. A lot of uh, sports games here, so the PS1. Um, there's the sale again for the holidays. Um, I don't know how long that sale is going, but obviously if you want a couple of used games and you don't want to spend that much money on the third one that is you know, less than or equal to $14.99, there you go, right there. You can pick some of these up here uh, for free. 
if you buy two used games, you know, looking for something that's more a lot more common uh, might not be a bad idea. Here we got Guitar Hero, we got EJ Club World here, ATV games, a bunch of Army Men games here, Chess Master, Confliction, CSI, Destroy All Humans for ten bucks for PlayStation Two. A bunch of Assassin's Creed games here. Oof. Assassin's Creed 3. Black Flag, which was great. Uh, Arkham City Battlefield 3. All right. Battlefield 4. Yeah, pretty common. I'm sure that's why they're 10 bucks. Guitar Hero here for $7.99. More Battlefield. Bioshock, great game. Call of Duty 4 for 10 bucks. Uh, Dirt 3, $10. Defiance, 10 bucks. Darksiders, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. More Call of Duty, ten dollars. Hitman two, ten bucks. FIFA Soccer, ten. Ten bucks as well. Actually, four ninety nine. FIFA Soccer ten is five bucks. Fallout three, ten dollars. Duke Nukem Forever, another ten dollars there. God of War, ten bucks. Great game. PS three, Just Dance three, ten dollars. Kingdom Hearts, ten bucks. L.A. Noir, $10. The Last of Us, $10. There you go. See, I, mean, I guess because they're more common. Great games, but they're just very common. I guess not as rare. Skyrim, $10. bucks. we got a bunch of those here. Fable 3 for the Xbox 360. Woo. Uh, a lot of Lego games here. More sports games here that are probably going to go for $10. Like the UFC games right there. Uh, table tennis, top spin. Yeah, a bunch of uh, basically common games like Resident Evil and Charted 3 for the PlayStation 3, Charted 2 and 1, all $10 here. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? World Series Baseball, Virtual Tour, Winter Sports 2018, that's $4.99. We got, let's see, more Super Nintendo. Oh, look at this. Troy Aikman football, huh? They probably have a John Madden football in here somewhere. May he rest in peace. He passed away, if you don't know. John Madden definitely passed away a few days ago. Uh, a week ago. Maybe more than that. Uh, very important, especially if you watch football. Uh, he was always part of uh, Monday Night Football. And then I think he went to Sunday Night Football, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe not, but he was part of the commentary for a lot of the sports games, uh, especially the Madden NFL games. Uh, not sports, just football, but which is a sport, but I said sports. You know what I mean. Chrono Trigger here. All right, 50 bucks for Unholy War. All right, they're getting a little bit more expensive here, and that's why they're probably behind this glass because they're a little bit more rare. Greatest Hits Final Fantasy Tactics here. Greatest Hits for Final Fantasy VIII there as well. These games are running more closer to. Um, oh, these are all factory sealed games, it looks like, as well. Running more towards 45 30 bucks, $20 for this. Gran Turismo is $15. Bucks. Well, let's see. What else do we have down here? Shadow Master, 15 RPG Maker 15. Uh, let's see. What else? Anything else here? Nightmare Creatures. 40 bucks. Need for Speed. $20. Soul of Samurai. 80 bucks. Complete and used. All right. So not all of these are uh, sealed. I thought I saw a sign from Test Drive 4. I used to love the Test Drive game. This is one that's 20 bucks. A Hala Warhawk for twenty dollars. Wipeout three thirty bucks. Wipeout was great. I loved Wipeout. We got a couple more games here. Monster Rancher, Crash Bandicoot three warped for thirty bucks. Tekken three twenty dollars. Metal Gear Solid thirty bucks. Breath of Fire three eighty dollars. Great game. Breath of Fire. Wow. Eighty dollars right there. A lot rarer and great game. Uh, let's see. A couple of uh, disc-only games here in a case. $4.99 for a bunch of them. Uh, Rayman. I think that's 5 bucks over there. We have... Yeah, there's Breath of Fire again. Oh, I love it. I just love the cover. I love the game. It's great. 
NBA 2K for the Dreamcast here. A couple of Dreamcast games here. $9.99. $15. 50 for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. That, that, that seems about right. Considering Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I think for the PlayStation 2, goes f around the same price, if not more. Maybe like 80 bucks, 90 bucks online. Oh, they got DDR back there. Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, 50 bucks here for uh, Macros, I believe. I've never heard of it, but uh, probably an RPG, maybe. Uh, $50 for that one for the Sega Saturn here, NHL 97. We got Grandia for 40 bucks. Grandia 2 for the Dreamcast. Never got a Dreamcast, to be honest. I, ever, um, I mean, I was still young. I was probably in high school, so I didn't make my own money. Um, so, unfortunately, I was not able to get one on my own. I would have to ask for it for Christmas, and I was already invested and involved in the PlayStation 1 and the N64, so I was content with that. Had I been older, had I had my own job, I probably would have tried it. I've heard, heard great things about the Dreamcast as a system. People definitely don't talk bad about it. People miss it. People miss Sega being part of the console wars, so it is definitely a system that pro I probably wouldn't get. I wouldn't have any nostalgia for it. Um, hopefully, if there's a game that is praised uh that did come out for it hopefully i'd be able to get it through an emulator or they would release it later uh re-released or remastered or remade and i would be able to play it here we got a couple of limited run games here for the saturn i mean this is the sega nope sega saturn sega saturn i'm sorry i thought it was a sega cd but it's a sega saturn um yeah, a couple games here the prices hopefully you can see the price tags i'm trying to go as slow as possible but not too slow because if i go slow slow this video is going to be like three hours long and i think it's already 20 minutes long hopefully you're still with me here uh some n64 games here loose uh, let's see what we got here super smash brothers here we go 90 dollars for that one pokemon snap 34 dollars for the n64 why what is that white bot white bot 64 i didn't oh you know what white bot 64 did come out it wasn't a place to exclude play place an exclu exclusive sorry banjo kazooie for 120 uh brawler 64 here damn white bot 64 i forgot that even existed warzone 200 dollars for this uh wwe game warzone for this n64 tetris wow these games are up there mad in 2001 wow GoldenEye, $45 for the N64. Star Wars. Super Smash Brothers, $90. Bucks. I love the N64 era. Look, even some of these loose games are $80. Bucks. Perfect Dark, $399. Holy moly. I'm guessing it's sealed. And even this one that's loose is $200 for Perfect Dark. F-Zero X, I love that game, $50. Bucks. Oh, these games are expensive. 40 bucks for Star Fox 64. Duck Dodgers. Look at that. Uh, a couple of uh, Japanese games here. Uh, the baseball games I hear are great. Uh, even for the Vita, even for the even for the older consoles, the newer consoles, to rock too. 15 bucks here. WCW NWO. I think that says $30. $30 for NFL Blitz. I love that game. That game was great. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Uh, three, I'm sorry, or two. Uh, how much was that? Thirty bucks, I think. Golden Eye, loose, forty dollars. Damn, so many games here. Tetris, forty dollars. Superman, oh, how much is that? You know what? Didn't get too close to the price tag, and I'm watching everything through the camera here. Oh, we got a couple of expansion packs here. Eighty dollars for these expansion packs. Wow. Wow. Right, let's keep going here. We got a couple of Nintendo Power magazines here going for eight bucks. Uh, $15 for this one. Tony Hawk Revolution. That's $20 for that magazine. I guess it depends on what the topic is. $20 for this one. Oof, we have so much in these cases here. Everything. Oh my God. It's a small store, but there's so much in it. $20. Look at that Persona 4. NHL 2K6 for 20 bucks. Winning 11. $20. UEFA Euroleague, 20 bucks. All right, a lot of sports games over here. Pac Man, 
I think that's like sixteen ninety nine. Mortal Kombat. Thirty four ninety nine. God of War here for fifteen dollars. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I think that says fifteen dollars. Hitman. It's a little blurry. The uh, the glass is a little dirty. Thirty nine ninety nine for Justice League Heroes. NCAA football, NHL rivals here. All these games are going for about around twenty dollars. Final Fantasy XX two twenty dollars as well for the PlayStation two. Um, so many games here, so many games. I've said it so many times already because there's just a lot. Look, we got PSP games down here, Japanese only PSP games here. We got. North American ones, TMNT, 20 bucks. Transformers, $10. We have Monsters Deluxe, $10. Medieval Resurrection, 20 bucks. Lumens or Lumines, $8. That was a good game. I just don't know how to pronounce it. All right, $5 for these, $10 again for Lumens, too. We got some loose UMDs over here. The movies. Wow, look at these movies. I only had one UM, UMD movie uh, for my PlayStation Portable. And you have a bunch here ranging in price. $199 for the sampler disc. I mean, these movies are probably collectible. Some people most likely collect them. We got Grand Theft Auto Vice City Loose here for $25. We have a bunch of Wii games here down in these boxes. Let's pull one out here. We got Nerf, $10. All right. Nothing too crazy like Namco Museum for $10 as well. I feel like that's the lowest price. No, $4.99 is probably the lowest price in the games that are here. Uh, oh, we got 8 megabyte memory cards for the PlayStation 2. Remember those? <laughs> that's $100 for uh, Time Crisis over there. Resident Evil, look at this collector's edition, $209 for this chainsaw here. I mean, it looks pretty freaking cool, to be honest with you. If you're a horror fanatic and you want to put that in your house, go right ahead in a little man cave. It looks pretty cool. Uh, Tales of the Abyss, wow, look at that. Cold Veronica up there. Samurai Jack for $60, bucks. Shadow of Aku for the PlayStation 2. Ooh, let's see. Let's try to move on here. I'm, I'm, I, I could be stuck in one section. One section for an hour if I wanted to. If I wanted to go through every single price. Ugh. I would be all over this. What do we got here? Some Game Boy Advance games. F-Zero GP Legends. 60 bucks. Wow. Look at Shantae for $149. Ooh, Planet of the Apes here. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. A bunch of Game Boy Advance games. And I guess they're sealed or maybe not. They're maybe resealed. I'm not too sure. Well, some of them say new here. So they, they if they're new, I'm sure they're sealed. Hopefully not resealed. I'm sure you can ask them in the front. If you're looking for something specific, they like to wrap a lot of the things up. Even their loose games here. Probably to keep them here. Pretty good. Pokemon Yellow for 60 bucks here. Loose. Looks pretty good though, in pretty good condition. Uh, some Game Boy Advance games here as well for 30 bucks. A good amount of games here. A good amount of games here. Very good amount of games here. Got uh, Pac Man, S Super Peach Advance. That was that's a pretty cool game. I, I, that goes for a pretty penny actually online. The Art of Fighting. King of Fighters 95, SNK here. The Neo Geo. Look at that, huh? Didn't Neo Geo come out with another system as well? Was it the uh, Jaguar or that was an actual, that was somebody else. Somebody else came up with that. Atari games here. Look at Super Mario Brothers right here for Atari. Museum display only, so it's not for sale. They probably have a price. But it's probably going to be expensive. But it says museum display only on it. So that's probably just for display there. Got a couple of prices here. These are Super Famicom games as well. Donkey Kong right there for 30 bucks. I'm sure there are people who play the Famicom here in North America. So 
They're definitely there. Definitely there. The market is there here. Mario Cement Factory for $279. I don't even know what that is. This $89 for that Super Mario Brothers uh, Game & Watch. That's a little overpriced. They, they, yeah, you can probably find one on, online for $45, bucks, $40. Got a little autographed PlayStation 3 there. A couple of loose cartridges, NES cartridges for $15. Uh, the Jalico Brawler Pack, huh? Jalico, you remember that? They made like Rival Turf and a bunch of... Bunch of games. Look at we got Aladdin for two hundred and fifty dollars. Super Nintendo. These are all sealed games. Pretty mint. Look at Madden. Look at Lion King for forty bucks. Wheel of Fortune, uh, twenty dollars. Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. That was a great game. Wow. Look at all this nostalgia here. Like a Contra three, forty five dollars. I loved Contra 3. It was a hard freaking game, but it was great. Star Fox here. Return of the Jedi. Mortal Kombat. Look at all this stuff. We got the little arcades over here. Family Feud down there. Oh, my God. Tetris. $20 here. Look at look at all of this stuff. Donkey Kong board game back there. q -Bert. Oh, my God. Capcom Super Street Fighter 2 bonus pack right there. Another NES limited edition. Oh, look at the Lego. Look at that. The Lego Nintendo system here, complete and made already. Probably for sale or probably for just for display. I'm sure you can ask. And they'll probably charge you extra because they already uh, built it for you. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> NBA Jam here for, for the Game Boy. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I think that said $24. I don't think it said $74. Look at these uh, electronics. $100 for these little electronics here. Oh, no, no. This one says for 15 bucks right here. $15 here. You got Scrabble. Oh, maybe that said $20. I'm not sure. It might have said $100. I'm not really sure. Let's see. What else we got over here? We got some Wii U games over here. I love my Wii U. My Wii U, I loved it. I loved it. When I wanted a break from my PlayStation 4, I loved my Wii U. You had so many good games. Look at Manhunt 2 for the Wii. I think that was $35. The Wii. The Wii was probably the only system, as popular as it was, that I never really got a chance to play because at the time I was in college... And I was worrying about studying and doing other things that I didn't really get a chance to play. We had one, but I never really, other than like social events where you played Wii Sports Resort or Wii Sports or any other game, I never really played it. I never really uh, bought much, many games for it, other than Mario Kart and everything else. That's it. Look at Wii, look at for the Wii, uh, Wii Sports Resorts for $35. A lot of games there. A lot of games here. Let's try to move on a little bit faster here. More Nintendo Power games here. We got Robin Hood. No price tags on these. Let's go and move towards the front of the store. And this is where you find more things here. You got a couple of PlayStation 4 games here. Look at that. Toe Jam and Earl. Oh, look, you got uh, the I, the people who make the Mayo game, I Am Mayo or whatever. That's $34 sealed for the pack of the three games they made. A couple of Game Boy over here for $179. Look at that PlayStation Vita, that white one. That looks freaking gorgeous and beautiful. $239 for some of these other rare Game Boys. Look at this. PlayStation Vita is here. 50 bucks for the, for that Game Boy. Some Game Cubes here, 130 bucks. Different colors, 149 for the green Nintendo 64. The Dreamcast, 259, 200, uh, 339 dollars for that one in the bottom. PlayStation 2. Uh, again, these these little Game and Watches over here. A bunch. You got Hades back there. You got a bunch of Nintendo Switch games over there. Uh, oh, look at F-Zero right there. You got Metroid for $300 for the Nintendo 3DS. You got another Perfect Dark copy over there. Resident Evil for the Wii for $90. Oof, just looking at all these prices, 
I could be here all day just just to see what their value is. We got another. Look at all this. Oh, my gracious. I literally I'm going to be here all day. I'm going to be here all day and night <laughs> looking at all these. Look at the Pokemon games for the 3DS, 3DS loose games for ten dollars, uh, five dollars. We got some in the cases over here. so many so many like if you're looking for a game you probably you could most likely find it here and if not then they probably they'd probably be able to find it for you look at these n64 controllers over here i don't think they're official they're probably third party uh n64 controllers but they're here playstation 3 games more games here look at this all over the place spider-man everything everything you can think of xbox 360 was the only xbox i ever owned oh look samurai jack here for 69.99 oh freedom finger look at that i'm definitely picking up freedom finger that's for sure freedom finger is definitely something i'm gonna pick up i missed out on the uh new year's eve uh blowout from limited run so some of these games i may have to come back to the shelf and see if there's one that i was looking for uh, that sold out because I, I managed to get a good amount, but some of them sold out from uh, the limited run blowout sale for New Year's Eve that they have, or for New Year's that they have every year. Um, by the time I added all the games to my cart that I wanted, some of them had already sold out. So I may have to find some more here. Hey guys, all right, so we left the store and I picked up a couple of games, uh, not a crazy amount. But I did pick up a good amount, more than I expected, because I was initially just going to go pick up that one game that I had pre-ordered from the website, from Video Games New York. Um, and I went in there and I found a couple of games for really good prices. So I figured, you know what, why not? Why don't I just go up about and uh, order them? I can order them in person. Uh, one of them was really cheap, no shipping. Uh, I was actually pretty pretty good so uh all right let me just show you what i got and uh we'll go from there so this is a little bag they gave me pretty cool just a little little bag and uh let's just pull out one game and we'll go from there all right so this is the game i actually ended up pre-ordering here uh for the vita for the playstation vita here it is so i can get it for you without the glare uh it was a east asia soft exclusive play asia exclusive uh it's called Fast Striker, limited edition. It has a little lifted bubbly feel to the letters and everything. Not this, not these letters, but these letters for sure. Uh, and actually the the characters around are, are bubbly as well. And this is the other side of it. Let me see if I can get it without the glare from the lights. As you can see, it's dark outside. I went inside when it was daylight outside, when the sun was going down. And now it is night time. So, uh, it says 2D arcade shooting game. This edition contains Fast Striker game, original soundtrack, certificate, and a manual. Six stages, three game modes, elaborate scoring system, 40 plus fully animated CGI enemies, six plus huge boss enemies, 3D scrolling CGI backgrounds, and constant 60 frames per second. FPS. Single player required memory card space at least two megabytes. And this is East Asia Soft sticker number 1562. So I'm guessing they made 1600, maybe 1800 of these bad boys. Uh, voices in uh, Japanese and English, as is the subtitles and the manual. Uh, but there you go pretty cool uh and the shooting looks great so when i saw this i love arcade shooters so when i saw this up on the website they actually had advertised it on their uh, twitter handle on their twitter account and uh, not their twitter handle their twitter account and uh and i uh i clicked on it they still had some available and i picked it up because uh i like these kind of games i like these darius burst uh kind of video game thingamajigs you know so all right so we got this one 
Uh, let's go get, let's go to the bag again, the little brown bag, and let's see what we got. All right, this is another PlayStation Vita game. It's gonna be called Nurse Love Syndrome. Now, I found out when I posted my initial picture on Instagram with my, not on Instagram, on Twitter, of what games I had gotten from this store, uh, somebody told me that this was, I guess, either part one or part two of the series. This is called Nurse Love Syndrome. And there is also one called Nurse Love Addiction. Uh, and there might be another, a third one, but I think the third one from what I heard was a uh, combination of both games of the series. Uh, it's a visual novel. Uh, let me show you the back here. Try to get away from the glare. There it is. That's a good one right there without some glare. There you go. Uh, these games, I found these, I've found these games online going for a pretty good amount of money. I paid 50 bucks for this one. Uh, this, uh, this one I paid, I believe, 50 bucks for this one as well. Uh, so not bad. It's a limited run game. Uh, so these go go for a pretty penny uh let's see in a fantasy oh in a fantasy japan where womanly love is the norm and the nurse can heal others with a touch of her hands meet cheerful kaori sawai fresh out of nursing school as she joins yurigama yurigahama hospital surviving a near-death experience as a child left her with a desire to become a nurse and healing hands that let her relieve that let her relieve pain in patients just by touching them. Written by real life nurses Sakura Sakura and Madoka Madoka, Nurse Love Syndrome shares the same world as Nurse Love Addiction. There it is, Nurse Love Addiction, focusing on young adults fresh out of school. Guide Kaori, uh, Kaori in her story of growth love and medicine and so i believe this is part two part one would be nurse love addiction this is nurse love syndrome uh quirky cast from the strict head nurse hatsumi otsuka big sisterly yasuko yamanochi and nursing school senpai nagisa fujisawa to the hostile patient sayuri sakai cute looking high schooler Ami Asada and the mysterious master of room 310 the cast of quirky characters will all define Karori's growth. Multiple endings let your choice decide how Karori, uh, Kaori will grow her relationship and lead her to one of the 20 or more endings of sweet love or darker passions. Complete edition Nurse Love Syndrome includes all the content of the updated Nurse Love Syndrome uh, RE therapy game released in Japan for you to enjoy the definite the definitive edition of love and nursing Kogado software products the, the Gika games limited run number 233 1024 megabytes of memory required and this is a one player game limited run T for teen, mild blood, mild violence, partial nudity, sexual themes, and the use of alcohol. So I've heard a lot of things about this one. People have recommended it to me. So um, I picked this one up, I saw it, and I had to have it. Why not? Especially if it's highly recommended. All right, back to the, to the bag here. Oh, okay. So this is actually a PlayStation 4 game I saw here. Now, the, for the date of this recording, uh, today was the limited run uh, blowout sale uh, for limited run games on their website. And one of the games I was looking for um, actually went up on sale for it. Uh, but by the time I got on the website, which was only like a minute or two later, and by the time I looked for everything that I wanted on the list, a lot of those games sold out, unfortunately, which is... You know, obviously, you know, people are going to go for those games. People are going to go for the games that they want. They're, they're not necessarily going to buy, you know, a bunch of 10 uh, games, 20 games where it takes some time, where it takes time to click on everything, have everything load and everything like that. People just go for the game they want, buy it, and boom, it's over. 
Uh, but one of the games I really wanted, which I was unable to get, there were a couple of other games that I was unable to get that I'll try to find elsewhere if I can, was this quirky little game, game that I never really heard of, but I saw it and I had to have it, so I was gonna buy it. Um, I ended up buying it off the store today uh, at a pretty good price. I believe I paid 42 bucks for it. I think it was 24.99. At, in limited runs but you know with the taxes and with the shipping and handling uh, the difference is not that much so i'm pretty happy about that uh you have uh for the ps4 freedom finger a game uh, let me just show you real quick it's like a little boy here with his finger pointed like a like a gun and it's m for mature here right and let me see here. Let's see if I can do this right here. There you go. Let me show you the back here, which is pretty funny. A man with a piggy bank who, uh, who is trying not to have his uh, piggy bank taken away. All right, and this is limited run number 378 by Buffalo Game Space. And uh, it is mature for blood, a drug reference, fantasy violence, mature humor, and strong language. Now this game is like a, when I looked up pictures about it and when I've read about it, it's basically like an arcade shooter. Like I told you, I love arcade shooters. I love them. So uh, this game is basically you flying around as a finger. If I remember correctly, I will show you pictures that are coming up right now. And you basically just shooting from the finger, flying all over the place, sh shooting a bunch of monsters, spaceships, what have you and uh yeah this game looks hilarious unlike anything else i've ever seen i love quirky games like this i love games that are you know different than the norm and uh this is definitely something right up my alley and i'm glad i saw it and i'm glad i bought it and i'm glad that it was available at a great price so this game i picked up very excited to put this bad boy in maybe i'll just I'll look at the price to see what it is digitally and maybe I'll keep this one sealed but uh, we shall see we shall see but I I, uh, I really I really like this one alright and then the next one which yep it's the last one I only, I only picked up four games now this one I picked up for a pretty good deal um, the uh the seal is a little bit broken. It's sealed technically, but it's a little bit, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, ripped here. Okay, this is guacamole. I'll just show you right now since you probably already saw it. Guacamole. It's uh, a limited run game as well. Uh, rated E for everyone. And now this is like a, uh, you know, like a, uh, like a, like a beat em up game. I think, I believe it is. Uh, about a wrestler or luchador who wears a mask, all that good stuff. Heard many, many good things about this game. I've always been looking for it, but I think the lowest price that it goes on uh, on eBay is 80 bucks, 85 dollars, 70 bucks, probably the lowest I've seen it. Um, so I've been holding off, seeing if there maybe one goes up for a bid, see if I can find one for Mercury. I would, I would have bought one open and used uh which sometimes for me it helps out you you pay less of a price but you end up getting to play it uh, physically from the cartridge which i don't mind anymore i don't mind having a game that's sealed or unsealed if i can find it especially for the vita that's open and at a good price i'll buy it i'll pick it up i don't mind uh so this one is i guess op sealed technically but has a little bit of an opening here which is fine. If I have to open it, I'll open it. it. It is what it is. I got it for 40 bucks, $40. So a sealed or semi-sealed copy of Guacamole for $40, which I think is a steal. I'm very surprised that they had it at that price, but they did and I bought it right away. I had to pick it up. I think they had probably two more copies there. So if you are looking for one and you're looking for this game specifically, 
uh, specifically and you do not want to pay 80 bucks or 70 bucks for it i recommend you go to the store now and pick it up because this is definitely something that you could add for your collection for 40 dollars. no shipping no handling and especially no wait time if you live in new york uh, or in the uh you know nearby area and you want to take the drive you want to take the train uh visit the city come right ahead we welcome you with open arms and i'm sure the store does too because the store the employees there uh were very nice very knowledgeable and every time i asked them to get me something they were more than willing to do it for me especially this because it was behind a uh, glass case um uh, but there you go guacamole by drinkbox studios uh let's show you the back here there it is okay carlos calaca has kidnapped el presidente's daughter and he plans to sacrifice her in order to merge the worlds of the living and the dead. Juan, oh, Juan Aguacate, <laughs> an agave farmer who stumbles upon a legendary luchador mask, must find the strength and courage to stop him. Travel through a mystical and mysterious Mexican world as a luchador, using the power of your two fists to battle evil. Uncover hidden wrestling techniques like the rooster uppercut, the Olmex headbutt and the and dimension swap to open new areas and secrets cross platform play with the ps3 touchscreen memory card required uh, of a hundred of a thousand kilobytes and it's a one player game limited run at number 225 e for everyone fantasy violence mild blood suggestive themes and the use of alcohol and there it is there's a side of it right there boom 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 Boom. This says limited run V83. Did the other one say something on it? Oh, limited run P260. Right there on that one, by the way. And this one. And this one doesn't say anything because this is a Asia one. Oh, it says e EAS PV013 on that one. And then this one, which is also a limited run game, LRB91. I don't know what those numbers mean. Uh, but they're there and that's it so this is the pickup right here this is what i picked up from uh from video games new york beautiful store tiny not as big as i thought it was going to be but the way they had their games organized the way they had everything pretty much displayed made the store seem bigger than i thought bigger than i thought it was it was beautifully displayed i was in there for you'll see how long this video is it's basically recorded in real time of how long i was actually there and then after i recorded the video i actually went around the store again see if i missed anything that i was while i was recording and just basically lost myself in the store again as you can see it is nighttime now and i am uh, just going home so uh here are the games that i picked up obviously you have i try to show them to you from the glare there is freedom finger there is this one there is uh nurse love syndrome all right and this one and freedom finger and there you go that's what you got right there that's what you got guys thank you so much for watching hopefully uh, I'm uploading this video probably a week after I go to the store. So hopefully a lot of the prices that you see there that I try to get close to are still there at that price. And hopefully some of those games are still there as well. Like I said, Guacamele has two copies. Uh, hopefully those are still there if you're looking for a cheaper sealed Guacamele copy, which may be a better seal than this one. Um, they just gave me this one. I didn't want to complain. I just took it and was happy with the $40 I had to pay and left uh guys leo i'm chewing gum like subscribe follow me on twitter leo i'm chewing gum youtube right here leo i'm chewing gum as well twitch leo i'm chewing gum and guys please be safe stay warm if you're in a cold weather uh environment it is getting cold and the snow is coming so uh guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching take care so one last thing I forgot to mention was that they uh, they also, every time you buy a limited run game specifically from their store, 
they give you uh, these limited run series cards that used to come with the games, or that still do come with the games, actually. Uh, nothing crazy special. I mean, I don't know how much these are worth, to be honest with you. Um, I've kept all of them that I've gotten straight from limited run games, but uh, uh, this one is a, let me show you all of them. They all have the same background, these limited run uh, background jigs here do you see them yeah right here all right and then you have the other side that looks let me see if I can try to try to show it to you here so it's a limited run games right here let's see if I can show it to you all right that's one card this is the other card here they have different numbers on them this one says 170, this one says 172, and the other one, the last one, says 171. All right, so he gave me, he gave them to me in chronological order. These are just, they just say limited run games on them. Um, so I don't know what that means, but it was a nice touch. He added it onto there, so very happy. Other than that, that's it. All right, guys, later. Thank you so much for watching and staying uh, post credits, I guess. Later. Bye.